Here's how to solve this difficult SAT math problem easily. If you take a look at question 15, it says the half-life of a certain substance in an aquatic environment is about 150 years. Which of the following exponential functions best models the amount A of T in grams of the substance that remains T years after 200 grams of the substance is applied to the aquatic environment? The half-life is the length of time needed for an amount of the substance to decrease to one half of that amount. First thing we're going to look at is our initial amount, which we know we're starting out with 200 grams. That 200 grams has to be in the beginning of our equation, therefore A and B are incorrect. Looking at C and D, they both have that correct. Next thing with C and D, they both have that correct half-life. The difference between C and D and why D is correct is the exponents. Because it takes 150 years for us to have one half-life, we need to have T over 150 as our exponent because if we were to put in 150 years over 150 years, that would give us one half to the power of one, which tells us that we are decreasing our population by one half after 150 years, which is exactly what was said in our prompt. So D's our answer.